There yeah. go. Ah. Right, let's do our video on why you're not growing. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, old schoolers, and welcome back to another video. This week is going to be another advice video just because I have words that I want to say and tell you. So let's talk about reasons that you might not be growing. So technically this is only three points. The fourth point is gonna kind of be like a yo-yo weird point that won't fully make much sense, but I'll try and explain it better. However, we're just gonna be discussing um, a number of different reasons as to why you not be growing as a streamer. And some of them might not be nice to hear, but it's the truth and I would rather you guys hear that than miss out on something. And again, a lot of this isn't new information. It's just me recycling different things that I've heard from all different angles kind of thing. So obviously I've watched a lot of other YouTubers as well and people like Ashley Kreis, um, The Guy Level, Alpha Gaming, like I've watched all of those and all of these advice videos are basically a mishmash compilation of everything they've said chucked into a video and it's talking about things that have either worked for me or things that I'm currently working on myself. So all of these videos, you guys know I'm not the biggest streamer in the world, but these are all things that I'm actively doing myself and I'm seeing results as time is going on. Because I'm seeing it worked for me, I just kind of want to tell you guys and let's get on with it. Before we start, we've got our socials flying by here. So we've got Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. I smashed that one out. On Twitch, we see him on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday, and every other Thursday, sometimes doing horrors, World of Warcraft, stream support, PlayStation games, and we stream from 7 until 10.30. So if you want to come out, please do. Anyway, though, let's, let's get on with it. But the first one we're going to be talking about today, point number one, is you're streaming too often. This is going to sound weird, and I mentioned this in like two previous videos, but if you're streaming, more generally speaking, more than five or four or five times a week, and you're not full time, stop now. I mentioned this, I think, in the top five streamer things, I'll put it up there, for new people. If you're streaming a lot, you're stopping yourself becoming a commodity, and I know this is something that people are told over and over and over again, but it is the truth. If you're streaming seven days a week, then what's gonna happen is people will see you're there, be like, I can catch you tomorrow, and then tomorrow comes around, and they'll be like, oh, I can catch you the next day, I can catch you the next day. If you're rare, then you become something they want. So I, I used this analogy last time, I said how in life, things become a commodity when there's less of them, and we want those things, and we want things that we can't get a hold of every so often kind of thing. And that is the same with you. If you're live seven days a week, they can get you whenever, which in theory means they will never catch you because every single time they go to watch you, something may come up and they can be like, I can put it off until tomorrow. Whereas if you're two, three times a week, then they're gonna be like, I can only catch them on this day. Otherwise I'm going five days without seeing them. Let's catch it now kind of thing. And that is the one thing out of everything I'm gonna say in the video that really does mean something is just don't, just don't. <laughs> But that is my point number one, so on to number two. Social media and how to appropriately use it. So this again is something that everyone was always hearing, we all know about it, but it's using social media and it's using social media appropriately. So when we say social media, we are saying Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. We are doing content on all of them. And if we want growth and we want long-term growth, we want content on all four of these locations and you want each of them to have their own unique access to content. You want two posts every day on Instagram, generally speaking, these are things that I've read online. Uh, on Twitter, you want to have about at least 10 tweets a day. And then on YouTube, you want to be putting out content twice a week. You want each of these to be on opposite times from everything else. So for example, if you're streaming on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you want your YouTube content to be on a Monday and a Friday. If you're on, on Instagram for those two, you kind of want one in the morning and one in the evening. Generally speaking, you can tie your evening post with a going live post and which actually leads me onto Twitter, don't use Twitter as a going live dump. Use it as what Twitter is intended for. Twitter is intended for you to just chat. Chat your mind. Use it as Twitter wanted it to be involved with. And don't use hashtags. Hashtags are a big thing that people think work. Using the hashtag small streamer support doesn't actually help. No one else is looking at that. If you're new on Twitter, you're not going to be searching hashtag small streamer support. You don't know what that is. You don't know that that hashtag even exists. As someone who's just come onto platform on Twitter and on Twitch, you're not going to know what these hashtags are and they're not viewing it. The same as big streamers who might raid you one day necessarily won't be viewing those hashtags. They're not going to sit there and sift through it. 
and that's kind of saying as well on Twitter, don't jump on these, retweet, use these hashtags, blah, 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 things to grow, because that's not a growth method. Just be you on Twitter, put up clips on there, edit a small 30 second clip and put it on your Twitter once a day and then have the other nine posts that you do on Twitter as kind of those, your thoughts, thoughts on games. You can always at people. So say you at like, I don't know, at, you can at a big streamer, you can at a gaming company and that kind of thing will appear on people's timelines and liking and retweeting other people's things and interacting interacting on Twitter will get you showing up on other people's timelines and will get other people coming onto your Twitter and that's kind of the good, the best way I want to say to use Twitter on a whole. And then obviously lastly YouTube, make content on your YouTube that is true to you. So we do a lot of tutorials and help and advice on here as well as unboxings and in the future we're going to start doing some World of Warcraft content because that's what our stream is about. So our stream and our YouTube generally speaking are one and the same. So I stream these games and on a Tuesday and Wednesday we give out advice to people and we do some tech support but then we have exclusive content on our YouTube on non-streaming days where people can view how to better, I don't know, the tech or if they want a better class of playing World of Warcraft kind of thing and that kind of jam. Don't make it so separate that it's like, whoa, wait, you're doing this on stream but on YouTube you're doing pranks on your girlfriend. The two don't marry up and then the transfer rate and the click-through rate from YouTube to Twitch is going to be less because people aren't seeing the same thing as what they're seeing on the previous platform kind of thing. Next is, uh, is this one is associated with social media but this one is self-loathing content point number three. This one's gonna be short and sweet. On your social medias, try not to be self-loathing. I've seen a lot of this on Twitter and on Instagram specifically, where people have been like, I'm not growing, this isn't happening for me, and so on and so forth. I know you may feel it, and I know in some cases you are sad about it, and I know we say you to use Twitter as an expressive opinion of yourself, but we're also using it as a platform for a business at the end of the day. And if you were to go to Starbucks and you went onto their Twitter and you saw them being like, I hate that I didn't sell all of these coffees today. It would put you off it and you want to be showing your best self on all your social medias. Obviously we have discords and such and people, you have like other streamer friends, try and talk to them about when you're feeling down or when there's issues going on with your streaming or you feel like you're not growing enough, but try and steer clear from putting that on those platforms. And I know you want to be as true as possible on these platforms, but becoming self-loathing and effectively self-righteous and thinking that you deserve it because you're putting the grind in is what's going to hold you back. If I was to sit here and say, I've done all of this work and I'm not growing, it would kind of be a bit like, oh, I'm not going to want to stay for that kind of thing. And I know, again, like I said, it's not it's not the nicest thing to hear, but self-loathing content is a big killer of people's growth. And if you were to, I've had people before that have been on my Instagram that every other day after their stream, they were like, I streamed for four hours yesterday and I only had two people and it makes you not want to catch that you, you don't want to check them out because then they become a kind of like a charity case for your longevity and for your growth and for your business and for your for your presence and just your brand you don't want a self-loathing brand you don't want your brand to be I feel like this I want this kind of thing you want it to be positive and happy and chatting our fourth and final point is about streaming content and what you're actually streaming what you're putting out there so this one's gonna sound a little bit backwards and forwards and a little bit confusing Using, but bear with me I'll try and explain it. The big thing here is a lot of people say don't play oversaturated games and because you're going to be so far down on the list however there's a way that you can play oversaturated games and be relatively high up so for example say you wanted to play a few niche games to go build your viewership you would generally speaking you'd want to go for games that have at least 200 viewers in their category and as they come in they come in you bring them in I don't know you play Outlast uh, that has about 200 viewers concurrently or 500 300 on there you kind of start bringing them into your stream they all watch you, you have a couple of streams where you're playing this game with quite low viewership as a category and you're building up your viewership in there. Bear in mind people watch the stream generally speaking for the person and not the game depending on how you stream. So what you want as a whole as a streamer is for people to want to be there for you not there for the game you're playing unless you're a professional if they're coming in they're enjoying you they're enjoying your content you're there grabbing viewers from these smaller categories of like like i said outlast um rift all these games that have smaller viewerships you're grabbing people from all of them and then you actually aren't enjoying what you're doing you want to say you know what i want to play an oversaturated game i enjoy call of duty i enjoy world of warcraft i enjoy fortnite if you've grabbed your viewers from all these small little places and put them in like a little ball if they're staying now for you then they're going to come with you to the 
these these oversaturated games and believe it or not if you have a viewership of at least 15 10 to 15 you will actually sit higher in the percentile of the viewership on your oversaturated game than you actually realize so i came to this realization not that long ago 16 viewers that i had on outlast and on the last of us they stayed for me they came for the world of warcraft streams and i ended up being in the top 400 streamers in that category you need to bear in mind that most oversaturated games are oversaturated because of people with zero to one viewers so if you're there if you've done some work in other games and you bring them all together and then you go to your oversaturated game you'll be a bit higher up in the oversaturated game than you actually think you might be and at the end of the day it's your stream if you want to stream oversaturated games play oversaturated games but then make sure all the previous three points we're sticking strong with because then people are going to come in for those also a little tidbit never go live on zero you have a phone you have hopefully another phone or an ipad turn these on you've got three viewers from the get-go and that instantly sets you off on a better foot and more people are going to click on there again that's it's the whole psychology of if someone has viewers they're going to want to come to that place because they want to see what they're doing if someone's got three people yeah i'll click on that i'll see what these three people are watching even if those three people are your phone <laughs> But yeah, if you do it right, then you can grab people from all these smaller games, bring them into your oversaturated game. So for example, say you stream Outlast one day, The Last of Us the next day, and then you have your third day as your oversaturated games. If you've done your presenting in a nice, positive way, the viewers that you got in those first two streams will stay with you because of you, and they will join you in your oversaturated game. Some may drop off, some may not, but on a whole, you will start to see people follow on through. I have a few streamers that come in on a Tuesday who have no interest in World of Warcraft, but stay because they enjoy the chats, they enjoy the interaction, they enjoy the stream advice and the stream support and tech support that we do on those sessions. But thank you guys for getting this far i know this has been quite a long video and it's only been four points but i do blab on quite a bit as always the socials are flying by here we've got facebook twitter instagram twitch and youtube and we go live on twitch on every tuesday wednesday sunday and every other thursday from 7 to 10 30 and we play a variety of games from world of warcraft to the last of us to horror games and we do a lot of stream and tech support on a tuesday and wednesday so if you want to come out and see any of those please do links all down there but if not until then we'll see you in the next video Bye.